Oh dear. Oh well. I can't believe it's... There's only been four... Like five days of the ladder. And then there's people... You just down 500 TV every game. Okay, 300 TV. It's fucking bollocks, isn't it? I'm just sick of being down TV every game. And I just can't stop it. I just literally... Literally cannot stop being down TV every single game. At least he's got some claws, which are kind of wasted TV, aren't they? One claw, one's missed next game. Twelve guys, couple of mighty blow, blodger, fagor. Maybe I don't need this. Um, babe, don't want to spend real money, do I? But then want to win every game, so I guess it's worth it. Yeah, it could be a lot scary for that TV, to be fair. Maybe I overreacted by looking at the TV rather than the team and the record, but still. Dr. Mom Bosco. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the claw the claw work on hidden AV9 and what answers, that's a good question. So maybe it's not wasted TV. Shit. Dirty dingoes. The dirtiest of the dingoes. Three loners on the other way. Jesus Christ. The trident. Trident, true trident. I'm still just having the fucking block is bad enough though, isn't it? Lowers a block against defenseless woodies. Poor little defenseless woodies. Shada chocolada. <laughs> yeah, the loaner book has been fixed in so it's just... I've just been fucked on. Every game. <laughs> Good afternoon, Zunk or CC. <laughs> I like how it's fucked, yes or no. Oh, wow, straw ball. Straw poles all di all different. <laughs> I haven't voted yet. Let's look at the results. <laughs> when you said yes, when fuck yes was an option, I thought it'd have been yes or fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> P. Diddy. He's gone on men's LOS. Might just have been a blitz there, he'd have just been fucked. I guess he's a bit of a beginner. Dodge sidestep on one, what the fuck? So, like, that's a lot of wasted TV, isn't it? Because that could be claw mighty ball piling on. Like, in terms of TV, obviously not. In terms of... You know, he's only got two skills, but... For, for how scary a team is... 
you know, for the same TV I could throw my evil panning on, which would be infinitely more terrifying, wouldn't it? Or block my evil panning on. That's a good idea, Nisa. You should definitely quit if you get frustrated with Blood Bowl. What's bad is when you stream it and you don't have the uh, you don't have the luxury of being able to quit, um, even though I kind of still did a little bit. I quit mentally. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quit Blood Bowl mentally for a long time. But, um. Yeah, I think it's great watching it. I always enjoyed watching, you know, the mages and stuff on Fumble. And, like, the chat. There was a, there was often a bit of chat going on Fumble. So, um. So I thought there would be a, you know, a decent chance of it being okay streaming, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's it's. I don't know. It's weird. It's but yeah. You, it's definitely a game that you've got to you've got to take a break from every now and then. Absolutely. Yeah, there's been. Well, it's not collusion because it's not. It's not on my end, so it's not collusion, is it? But um, yeah, there have been some. Some dodgy teams spun into us. <laughs> still killed, still killed guys though. Still killed two players. <laughs> still killed two players. Fucking og, og throwers and goblins. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Nisa. Yeah, the peasant team called the bull in a chop. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Blue Nippy. Right, is there a way to get through here? Guess not. You can just blitz him. I guess I'll re-roll double skulls and we've got three. I guess that was a misplay there, because if I put the assist in here, I could have blitzed from there and then pushed into there and got another hit with block on him. But then I guess the follow-up would have been, um, if it had been another push, it wouldn't have been in a tackle zone. So maybe that, maybe it wasn't bad. Nobody knows. Screen around like a dickhead, and there's nothing. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> yeah, rock and a gobble. Kill two players. Jesus Christ.
Um, there are only three warriors. Sorry, I was fucking playing a, playing a game on my phone here. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Naughty Dingo. Um, which bit of the northeast am I from? I'm from, I was born in Gateshead, lived there for 10 years, and then moved to Darlington. Well, I should bolt here, shouldn't I? Seeing as this is just a fucking... Game over, man. I mean, this is like a free... It's not just a free hit on the ball, it's like a free cage, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. So blitz with him and then cage up around. Yeah, me and Vic Reeves, yeah. <laughs> that is that is literally true. Right, so if he GFI, I've got to make two GFIs, I've got to secure it. <laughs> Fail the first one. So put him there, then dodge with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Hey. Yeah, because I, I knew I'd fail the next... I knew I'd roll the one on the next dice. <laughs> so, so I thought, no, no need to risk the GFI there after you can re-roll. Fucking hell. <sighs> he cancelled that guard assist. <laughs> and then <laughs> made the blitz. The blots. The bad parts. <laughs> oh man. At least I didn't roll a one for the lightning bolt. I guess that's something. Hello, Ronin man. Maybe I shouldn't have used the... I had to strip it all, didn't I? So maybe I shouldn't have used the uh, wizard. Yeah, I think he's a beginner. Yeah, it's not, I mean, Blood Claw's fine, isn't it? It's not... It's not terrible, the strength four are not guys are normally going to fight any other guy's strength four guys. So I don't hate going claw first, even though it's obviously not as good as Mighty Blow, really. Dodge sidestep's a bit dodgy, especially when you've got an agility four bludger. Movement's fine. <laughs> Fucking woodies. <laughs> I'm alright. Now he gets his one dice on the ball. Hey! Hey, oh uh, well. My blow first is fine, I think. I think that's not weird at all. Oh, you mean Mighty Blow first? Yeah, and the Warriors, yeah. I mean, it, the Claw's only better against Armour 9, but. You know, your worst matchup is orcs and dwarves, so I, I don't I don't hate it. I really don't hate Block Claw, but yeah, obviously Mighty Blow is pretty much better. Yeah, exactly. The can open. 
<laughs> oh, he tried for a 5 plus dodge. Martin. Right. Normally I would <laughs> I would score. <laughs> but I've got to um I've got to try and get the um Ah, he can 2D. Ah, but then if it's a push, it's no good. If this is a push... Mm, it's still kind of the same, isn't it? I don't want to hit for powers, do I? I mean, he can block and then just see what happens. Can always run out this way if it's a push. Can dodge out. Um, can dodge out this way. In fact, can go this way anyway. Oh, fuck off, man. Scary. Can't hit the mighty blow guy. I want to dodge away from him. Don't give up mighty blow hits, do I? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone to dodge made the second one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess it is. It's <laughs> like being David Vice-Rex. Yeah, you gotta get strip on one tap on the other. <laughs> I've not played Woody's before. They're just I just don't like being Armour 7, you know? I just don't like how how dicey Armour 7 games can be. I've played I've played what else before and you know, um Skaven before even. Even Norse, for fuck's sake. Yeah, maybe I should have just made one dodge with him and then made the dodge with the other one so I wouldn't give up this block. I do have a lovely cup of tea, though. I would like to do Kemri. It's just that what I've got to do is I've got to... Um, <laughs> Your penis. <laughs> I've got to play it early. At the um, you know, next season I've got to play early. This season I haven't because even though it's only four days in, it's already too late to start. Isn't that stupid? Oh, it's fucking depressing. Um, I played like I won about nine in a row with with what else one time, um, and then fucking conceded at the kick before the kickoff due to a fucking cyanide bug, and I had an agility five ward answer, and it was like the fucking best thing ever. Silly boy, silly boy not hitting with block. I mean, I guess it was hard for him to hit with block. But block would have got him the knockdown there. He's not basing the ball. Madman. What a madman. Even Brett's. That, what I have to do is next season. Next season. <laughs> 
I will play heavily at the start of the season. The start being fucking day one, two and three. And then, um, you know, I can get qualification wrapped up and then play some different teams, but... When you've got to qualify, it kind of stops you using fun teams, doesn't it? Thank you for the follow, Karova. It's not a Jimmy guarantee, no. But the, the day that I do wrap up qualification early is when I'll use different teams. <laughs> that, that's when I'll do it, the, the, the time that I actually wrap up qualification quickly. So what turn is it? Oh, jam toast. Um, so it's turn four. So there's no reason to run forward. I could serve him, but it'd take a lot, wouldn't it? Just run around. That gives him the two plus dodge out. He gets in prime, ready to be punched spot. He gives the chain push out there, doesn't he? Don't get punched by Mighty Blow. Good boy. It's like this fucking scumbags aren't they? What else? Just run around. Because Theodore, the name of the team is not Inarian. And <laughs> and if I stall out at the till the end of the half, I take less Mighty Blow hits. And just let it in general. And and. The following notification, unfortunately, I disabled alert box last night because it glitched out. So it's on and hopefully it'll work. It tends not to work now though, um, the alert box. I do like taking Wrestle Running Man, but as I explained yesterday, they don't have a lot of block to start today, they only have two block to start, so I like to take some more block. Um, first. Um, I don't hate my viewers. <laughs> but yeah, I could go for the early score. Maybe I should have done because he didn't. I didn't see the sub. There was a sub. No, I fucking didn't. Oh, man. Oh, Karova, I just said thanks for the follow. I saw the follow, I didn't see the fucking thing. Oh, man. Well, thank you very much for the sub, Karova. Right, okay, give me a second. I do apologize. I don't hate my viewers. <laughs> right, give me a second. It's, there's a load of trouble with um, fucking Twitch alerts and stuff. And it's... Um, or Streamlabs, as it is. Yeah, he thought I didn't see the sub. Right, okay. Glorious. Thank you very, very much, Karova. Sorry that I missed it. It's really annoying not having Twitch alerts working. But thank you so much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Oh, shit. A block line here. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I do like Russell Dodge for the line elves, just because then they can, they can just any any elf can get the ball, can't they? That's the thing. They're um, they're not limited like other teams are. Um, all right, so I might be able to knock down a few guys here. He can stand up because he's not getting hit by mighty blow. And fall on a pow here and use the blitz to hit the um, mighty blow guy. So he's pretty, he's pretty safely screened, isn't he? Okay, if I skull this, it's a four plus to two dice him, so it's it's okay. Get a canoring threat first. <laughs> to not play you again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> sounds, sounds harsh, doesn't it? <laughs> Down a ward answer, yeah. <laughs> do what? Ah, oh, there you go. He doesn't have mighty blow, but he gets a KO anyway. It's no bother, is it? Got the got the babe. So not gonna have whole KO'd line. Maybe I should have gone for an early score and go for a fucking Inarian like eight nil. The ward answer is just miss next game, yeah. 24 hours of stream of Woody's running, man dies of hunger. <laughs> now he gets powered, but not by Mighty Blow, and not three diced. But maybe it was a bit silly running him out there, because obviously I knew he'd blitz. I knew he'd blitz the Canoring threat, maybe I should have done it with the uh, with a lone alignment. Or something. You're alright, I'll go for the 8-0 no, then in future. It's just that for a normal person, going for the 8 0 gets your team damaged more. But obviously, Narian wins 8 0 and, and has takes no cars ever on his Wood Elves, which is crazy. Oh man, I love the TD foul too much. It's so amazing. I don't know why he's cheerfying there. <laughs> I think I really do think it's the best mechanic sign I've put on the game. I agree. I absolutely love it. It already nearly did. Um, VIP Dante Kelly's. I made a three dice. I made a three dice block without a block just so that I could make a TD foul. <laughs> Which um, wasn't the smartest play I've ever done. He's done a good job of stopping us here, hasn't he? I'm a bit, I'm a bit um, lost for ideas here.
Have to do some dodges. I'm gonna go over this side though. Maybe I should re roll that, eh? <laughs> now it's down to fucking loner dodges. Do this punch first. Though. Get to fuck. Now you blow shit out. He's got sidesteps, he's gonna sidestep into contact, but nah, I don't know. <laughs> KO. Get the fuck. See, alert box is on, but the follow just doesn't come up. Oh, okay, it does. <laughs> Alright, I'm wrong. Um Thank you for the follow, Poncho DLV. Blocking for removals, oh yeah. Um, do I want to stay him and then he occupies at least one player? That doesn't seem great though, does it? Especially if he gets punched into mighty blow. But the chance of him doing a 3 3 2 is pretty low. So, I'd rather, rather just take the two dice. Yeah, it's really dodgy now. Uh, the uh, Twitch alerts. Look at that guy, what a hero. you got to try to bash people, haven't you? Even as wood elves. <laughs> Dingo Mighty Blow getting in the KO. I can see the point of plus AV for a ward answer. And I would really like a 9559 ward answer. <laughs> I like the idea of a 9559 ward answer. Um, and, and in fact, when 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 Jervis Johnson released the force, see, he gets pushed into Mighty Blow, that was a bad thing. He's not even hitting him with Mighty Blow. Um, when Jervis Johnson released the costing formula um, that he used, I created 9559 positionals. <laughs> you could basically min max the system. He's like, you can make your own teams with this. And um, no, I just like it. I'm not saying it's, it's better. I'm just saying I just like the idea of it. So, so me and my friends, back then, Titchy didn't, wasn't like Stunty. Titchy just made all of your dodges a two plus. So we made we made like five five three one eight Lyman or something that had Titchy. <laughs> so so and Titchy was actually cheaper. And obviously Agility One was cheaper. So um So like these two things combined made your guy more powerful and cheaper, which was pretty funny. Got to move them out of the way first, haven't I? He is, he's um, in Warhammer now. Oops. No, no, BZL, it was to make them cheaper. We didn't give it the war dancer, guys. We gave it to the... Um, we gave it to the... Uh, the lineman. So that the lineman could... Um, could be super cheap. 
I could just punch him, couldn't I? But then he can come around the backside. So, got to use the reroll, so I have to dodge him first because he's got me. But... Oh, you cunt. <sighs> Maybe I should have punched him. <laughs> Yeah, he was, yeah. And do you know what the funny thing was? Do you know what the funny thing was? They had, they had the bank rule there. And the BBRC were, like, given free rent to do whatever they wanted. But Jervis Johnson, the best games designer, games workshop we've ever had, said that if they did something shit, he'd veto it. And because he vetoed the one shit thing that they did, Fucking the guy who Galax Scarscraper, the guy like the head of the BBRC, wouldn't give it up, wouldn't shut up about it, kept going on and on and on, defending and how it should have been in there, it was play tested and it was good, and it should be part of the game, and then fucking Dode rabbits him because he fucking rabbits him. Is that is that <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, and he just and so fucking you know, Dode's like, Oh yeah, yeah, that should have been in and it's just awful. <laughs> Pretty cool, and it's just it's just awful. They just won't shut up about this fucking bankroll, and like, as if Jervis Johnson is an idiot for like for fucking stopping it. Oh man! Wow, not powered. Unbelievable, Jeff. We can still blitz him and ah, oh, but I don't want to blitz him. Yeah, exactly. Because amazingly, Jervis Johnson knew it was a fucking shit rule, and shouldn't be in the game. So he's like, nah, mate, that's that's not going in the game because it's shit. And they just wouldn't let it go. He just would not let it go. And funnily enough, Jervis Johnson's advice is um. Yeah, he is. He, he's, he works on he works on 40k. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he still works on. His advice to to people making games is, funnily enough, drop the um the thing that you like the most, um and don't try to defend it, because you'll you'll you you know like you'll um you'll defend it too much and stuff, and um. Yeah, what's he called? Uh, Thomas Perinen. Thomas Perinen um, made a Facebook post saying like that was the best advice he ever got from Jervis Johnson was to just was to just forget about your favourite thing in the rules and um, you know because then you'll get too emotional about it and stuff and defend it against when you shouldn't defend it and all this kind of stuff. And uh, oh, brilliant! Failed two out of three despite having a three plus. Um, and yet, that's exactly what fucking Gallic Starscraper has done. He's absolutely defended his fucking stupid idea to the death. Refused to let it go, ever. Yeah, you met him. He's, he seems a cool guy on Facebook. Um, but I haven't met him in real life. I didn't meet... I, met, oh, I might have done, actually. I met, I met a few of them, you know, when, um, when I was a little kid. Because I remember I told I told Jervis Johnson about <laughs> about my storm vermin. Um, I told him about my storm vermin that had claw, razor sharp fangs, dirty player, and mighty blow. So he gets plus plus five plus um yeah plus plus five to armor, dirty player, mighty blow, claw, razor sharp fangs. So we got plus five to armor, plus five to Kaz roll. So he's killing people on 7 plus. On the injury roll. I told him that when I was like about t 10 or something. No, it wasn't 10, I was obviously 14. And um, he probably didn't give a flying fuck, obviously. But you could, t you could see his face was like, whoa. Because <laughs> he just hadn't thought of combining them at all. I thought that was unbelievable. How can you write the rules and not think that a pick combining them so... While he has made some good games, the fact that that blew his mind and he couldn't see the abuse of it is not good. But he does make fun games, doesn't he? So Yeah, like us defending TV files. 
Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm pretty much friends with all of those on Facebook, but um, obviously, I, I, I've probably met them in, in real life at some point, but only when I was a little kid. People actually play this game. Why are you, what are you doing there? What are you doing? <laughs> ah. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, but I mean, I, I could. That's the thing, I could, yeah. Like, they should have min maxes. They shouldn't just have. Like, that was the thing, the studio was always, um, was always just like people who played it as it was intended and, uh, like, role players and stuff. Whereas they should have got people like me and my friends who, yeah, min maxing, you know, like. Oh man, when the, when the new rules for the Necrons came out, um, a while ago, and they had, you could spawn, you could spawn, um,. Oh, uh, what were they? They had scarabs? They had tomb spiders. Tomb spiders could spawn scarabs within like 12 inches of them or something. So what you would do is you would set up your set up your army here. He sets up his army here, right? And then you spawn some scarabs here. Then you spawn some scarabs here. Then you spawn some scarabs here. Because <laughs> they only had to be next to other scarabs. So you set up scarabs here and a tomb spider here. And you'd spawn scarabs, spawn scarabs, spawn scarabs, spawn scarabs, spawn scarabs. <laughs> Spawn scarabs. So you just make it like a T of scarabs, and then assault them turn one guaranteed, um, which was obviously just a little bit overpowered, um, and they they didn't spot that, which you know it's a bit crap, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to go for the quickest score now, haven't I? Just because I haven't got the men's to delay it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, VIP, don't look at this, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, they should absolutely have them in matches. Yeah, the conga line. And I discovered that within, you know... I don't know, seconds of looking at the rule book. I looked at the rules and I was like, whoa. Like it wasn't even it wasn't even minutes probably, it was just seconds of looking at the rules. I was like, whoa, that's fucked. Hmm. Well, he can't get surfed now, can he? So I can put the catcher there. Can re-roll this if it fails. You can make a bit of a screen. Can re-roll the pickup if it fails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Let's make the GFI now. And obviously don't re-roll these because they're loners. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So you can't really threaten. So he wants to come through here as well. Maybe should have put him there or something. Yeah, it's just done with just actually having playtested. Yeah. help um the cat combo what's the cat combo
<laughs> yeah, mad as much as your job, yeah, that's true. I have not tried Guild Ball, no. Yeah, Monolith, oh man. Yeah, there was a time when uh, I had the army, actually. I had the army. I probably took a photo of it at some point. I could I could show you my army. I'll, I'll, I'll find... I'll see if I can find my army. And I could show you my army. But I had an army of... Um, two Destroyer Lords. 18 Wraiths. Three or four... Um, planes. Whatever the fuck they're called. And... Um, And three annihilation badges. Oh god, what a great what a great army that was. Right. What's photo bucket, isn't it? Yeah. I may have uploaded a photo bucket a long time ago. picture of my army. Shada. But it was a cool army. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what that is. I am help. That must have been after I had um, either before I started playing or after I finished playing. <laughs> because I don't know any of those three cards. <laughs> I mean, the the big one that I knew was Skull Skull. Was it Skull Cap? Was it was that what it was called? It was called something Skull, wasn't it? What was it called? It couldn't be called Skull Cap because that's like a Skull Clamp. Fucking hell, Skull Clamp, holy shit. The fact that they just like allowed Skull Clamp. It was recent, yeah, Skull Clamp. Yeah, the Mirrodin thing. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was that was outrageously broken. Um oh, he's not in range. Fuck. Yeah, Skull Clamp. Hello. Hello, the rib cracker. Yeah, skull clamp. That was it. <laughs> um, could blitz him and then score with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. It seems a bit horrible, though, doesn't it? This guy can come around for free. Get in there. Could blitz him. And then there's him there, so he'd have to put one dice him. This seems really horrible. I don't like the idea of 3 plus dodges either. The sideline play was a bit fucking crazy, wasn't it? Could just knock these guys down. There's no pressure on the ball, is there? Um, so yeah, I just try to punch people. To dodge out with a war dancer and blitz somebody. There's no one to assist over there now, fuck. Not a 
bit shit, wasn't it? All right, one dice, one dice hero. Let's go. Beautiful. Knew that was gonna work. Oh, and the other one as well. The um, the other thing was pretty broken as well, wasn't it? In Meridian, there were a few overpower things in Meridian. But um, just just artifact lands were outrageous. They were an outrageous idea, weren't they? Um, yeah, Umazawa's jit, yeah, that was, or Jitte, as it was supposed to say. Kamigawa, yeah. Yeah, it was just really powerful, wasn't it? It wasn't it wasn't broken like Skull Clamp. It was just incredibly powerful. But. But still kind of fair, isn't it? It's not like... <laughs> it's not as bad as it could have been. Just really powerful rather than... Breaks the game in half. Like... Like each one of your lands counting as two lands. <laughs> Which is what happens with artifact lands, isn't it? Almost up all this because I've got two. He's gonna foul him. Fuck! He's gonna foul him. I just realised after I'd uphold it. Shit. He's even got him there. Oh, that was a stupid apple. I just didn't want to risk him not coming back. really dumb. What a dumb apple. Alright, good. I've got a dodge just because it's I've got a team reroll for it, haven't I? And I don't have one for the block and it might not even work anyway. Should have pushed him from the other direction. That was really dumb. Just playing shit. Fuck me, man. That was so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could have hit him that way and it'd have been all right. Fuck sake. I can't do three, three. A three and a two. I guess it's not that bad. If I've got a reroll. Otherwise, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Fucking throwing this away against somebody who just gave up the ball. Did not deserve that touchdown. <laughs> that was terrible. Just punched him from the wrong direction. Holy shit, it was so bad. One out of three comes back. Good apple then in the end, eh? What's even the point of buying fucking babes? Three ones. Fuck off. This is why I don't try to win 8-0. <laughs> Because my team just gets fucking ruined. And if you try to score more, if you try to score quickly, it just it's just harder, isn't it? You should just score when you want. So I think scoring when you want is maybe the best play in this ladder. 
Like, just score when you can. Don't try to force an early score like in Arian. But also, don't try to stall it out like me. I think what I'm going to try in future is just score when I can. Yeah, that's true, to be fair, Jam Toast, yeah. Turns out I may be in Arian after all. <laughs> yeah, not punished, no. Oh, very happy, yeah. Yeah, obviously there, if I draw those three ones there, I would have just tripped over and probably been a 1-1 draw. So yeah, you're absolutely right. But it's still annoying as fuck, isn't it? When you, when you pay your own money for a babe and it does literally nothing. It is pretty annoying. But yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter once you 2-0 up, I guess. But yeah, I think I think Hinarian forces scores too early. And I think maybe normally I try to stall too much. So I'm going to try to... Uh, there, my hand was forced a bit by being down players. But even then, two players isn't that much. I didn't need to go crazy like I went. So, um... Yeah, I think in future, it's... The play is to um, is to just not force anything. Score whenever. Whenever I can score without dice, I'll score without dice. I think that's what it's going to be. But don't try to score in two and don't try to score in eight. Just see what happens. Cheeky dual chest. See what we get here. Time turners. Duplicate rare. Brilliant. Takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got no idea what cards are on magic at the moment. I'm happy to have shaken my my addiction to to cardboard crack, though, because um, <laughs> it was um, pretty pretty bad. Mythic spoiler, that's the that's the site, isn't it? Oh new Gideon. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Mm. 
put somebody in blitz him block him last thing I want to dodge away from them still got two rerolls Don't get hit by mighty blow, little man. Pretty good, isn't it? Movement nine, movement nine, movement eight guard is pretty good. And he couldn't take mighty blow or very long legs or anything. Two heads. So if he once he gets block and sidestep, he'll be pretty amazing. Sleepy. I'll be right back. Exciting this, isn't it, eh? Exciting this. Exciting match. Three, f three full minutes when losing 2-0. No, he's losing 2-0 and he's taking three minutes every fucking turn.
<laughs> Still managed to kill two dice on the ball. I'd just really like to do it with him though, wouldn't I? Leap for a one dice strip? Or... He could two dice him. Get the push, guard in, and then do 2D. I guess I just don't wanna... I don't wanna die. the ball. That's a great strat that all the cool kids are doing. Doesn't achieve anything, does it? Oh, well, he did it. I guess I should have made the extra dodge to there, but still. Extra dodge, extra GFA. It is a shirt screen. You are. Can't see, unfortunately. I'm pretty good at twerking, actually, Ronan, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can just score this turn, can't he? And then maybe get the turn over and win. He's got to score. He's got to just score here, hasn't he? Maybe I should have gone for the leap strip. I just didn't want to lose a re didn't want to use a reroll that turn and used one anyway. So maybe I should have gone for the leap. I don't know. Hey. He rolled a one. Get banged on. Hmm. I guess he's just got to pick it up himself, hasn't he? He could blitz to get the um, protection. That seems like a worthwhile thing to do. <laughs> I killed a man. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get him to there. And then a guy there. And that would be a dodge, wouldn't it? So a guy there, a guy here. Hmm. 
I guess I should pick it up with him because it's one less roll to be made, isn't it? Right, I guess I should have got this scoring threat first. Sure, he's in range there. I think he is, though. I failed the first one. Oh. Never mind. Had to try. Last fragment. AV7 is indeed better than AV8, yeah. It's a true story. Got him. Oh well. When your opponent rolls three rolls three sixes, he's gonna succeed, isn't he? Babes probably had no effect though. No, six five, no. Yeah, maybe he has. You shouldn't be able to defend, should you, with three guys off? He's gone for the pass, obviously. So blitz him and cage in the middle? <laughs> Is that the play? I guess it has to be. Look like it does it for a little bit. I don't know how he plans on getting his touchdown.
So one guy there, guy there, guy there, blitz there, get a guy there. Ooh, could go long. Him. Does it achieve anything? I'd really like him to be inside though, wouldn't I? That's where I've got a blitz from. Fuck. I guess he could go there and the catcher could be in the middle. To like actually use catch. Three plus pass, isn't it? So I was mute with phones down. Bit of a disaster there, All right? Never mind. Might be a chance of a touchdown foul next turn, anyway. Unlikely, I'm probably gonna have to blitz. Blitz my way to freedom, aren't I? Can't believe I made a pass without having a thrower. It's outrageous, isn't it? I, I, I'm sure there's data that says that that's not possible, but um, never mind. Made a pass without pass. Outrageous. That is simply not true. <laughs> A hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Make it three dice, good, good for him. <laughs> yeah, the wardens is probably going to have to do something here to score rather than make a touchdown foul unfortunately <laughs> So if I pow him, I'm gonna go one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. I'd have to pal this guy to be able to, um, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. That's probably the easiest way, isn't it? Because it pushes, pushes good. Bashed chaos, but I mean he was rookie chaos-ish, wasn't he? Despite him having the TV advantage, that was pretty scary at the start of the match. He actually wasn't a scary team. At all. This is the thing, isn't it? You know, I play I play chaos and get out bashed by Wood Elves. Play Wood Elves and out bash chaos. It just seems to be that the world's upside down. That's the way they do it. <laughs> Crazy match. <laughs> That's how I take my cards away. <laughs> Good old throw rock. It's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely stupid. The amount of rocks. And how chill it be? That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Busy at this end. It was a good day for not taking damage, wasn't it? I'll be capped at badly hurt, but even then, badly hurt's still outrageous. Need more money, don't I, to get the tree? Yeah, good. Got it. I think I would actually VIP Kurgol, because as I've said before, they can actually benefit from a riot. What else? And a pitch invasion, even if it even if it wrecks you, it's not that bad for elves. Even if you're on the bad side of it. And if you're on the good side of it, it gives you a turnover and a touchdown. Whereas... Bash, if you get on the good side of it, it doesn't even do you that much because you've still got to store out the drive. So um, I think I think I would get the anti-rock stadium for Woody's, yeah. Might go dodge first. But the thing about going dodge first is it's just not good against um, dwarves, is it? That, that's, that, that's why I go wrestle first, just because I think dwarves are, dwarves are a pain in the ass. Now I've got four block for making the LOS hits. Well, three for the LOS, one for the blitz. I guess I've got the ball carrier, so I could have gone block. Not mind. Oh, the tree's making a the tree's making a um, making an LOS block as well, isn't he? Yeah, only two players you care about, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess yeah, the the tree and three blocks. The tree, 
All right, good. Ten players, not bad. Would have had eleven if I hadn't sacked that minus movement guy. Four and zero. Oh. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.